sometime back in, I guess it was about April or May, I got a phone call and uh, it was the uh, African Children's Choir and they asked if, if uh, we would consider um, hosting them for a concert um, July the 15th. And I didn't, I had heard the name, it did ring a bell, but I wasn't really from familiar with what they were about. So I got on the internet and I did some research and I was just blown away by uh, where they had been, who they had performed with, and where they had performed. And uh, I honestly thought they'd called the wrong number. And they told us that they normally, you know, what the requirements were for providing homes for them to stay in. Well, we are a refugee community and we have mission groups come all the time. So we have facilities that was more than big enough for them to stay. So it was a perfect fit. And since we already have 26 languages in this neighborhood, um, I knew they would fit right in and it would give the people of this community and of the city uh, a better idea of, of a culture, this specific culture, and uh, what they were like. And that's exactly what we got. Ever since the 1984, choirs have been coming from Uganda, traveling all over the United States and many other countries to raise money in order to provide education for many more children back in Africa that could not afford an education. This tour is nine months long and we've so far gone through about seven of the months. So we started North Carolina, worked our way all the way northwards on the eastern coast, all the way to Maine. It's an amazing experience for them. You know, it exposes a world beyond their village, beyond what they've always been used to. So they learn so much, meet so many people, and um, they learn to dream, and their picture about the world really grows. It really grows them, and they get to do so much, so many fun things, play with the snow, go out to parks, and just have a great time. So they have an amazing experience. They love it. Thank <laughs> you.